welcome to your great human adventure. It's a video series of short videos that share with you how to master the four super superpowers of having a great human adventure. I'm Dr. Michelle Petticola, founder of Secrets of Life and Death and Second Chance Secrets, empowering smart men and women to reinvent their lives after a loss, divorce, or major life challenge. And you know that major life challenge could just be the inability to move forward. Today we're focusing on the brain. So the four superpowers are brilliance, which is who you really are, a spiritual being having a human adventure, body, which is the vehicle that will transport you through this three-dimensional plane and enable you to fulfill your manifest destiny, your purpose. The brain, which, oh, by the way, the body has its own agenda, which is mostly to keep itself alive. And then there's the brain, which works in coordination with the body to support it and protect it and help it solve its problems of safety. And then there are all the rest of the people out there, your community, the other. As I said, I'm going to focus today on your brain. Your brain is largely unconscious. Most of the thoughts are unconscious. 95% of your brain programming is unconscious. It was developed, your programming, the brain's programming was developed when you were very small between the ages of zero and five. As part of your agenda of keeping alive, you developed ideas, beliefs, plans, habits to help keep you alive. Unfortunately, human beings are very, very complex. And so basic things like food, clothing, shelter, warmth are not enough. Also, you need to be loved, nurtured, appreciated. So if your parents were neglectful or abusive or over demanding, you developed patterns of behavior that helped to protect you and thoughts about how to keep those behaviors happening. Very often those are interfering with your ability to have a great human adventure. Let me give you an example. My ex-husband told me his mother always said, it's things you don't worry about that go wrong. So of course he worried about everything. And worrying is not a good place to be. It actually releases a bunch of chemicals in your body which makes the body tense. So another example is that you feel like you have to do something all the time because if you don't, you won't be seen as important or valuable or lovable. And so you work and stay busy all the time. Now, other people, maybe you don't feel worthwhile enough. And so you do it in order to please people so that they will love you. How do you find out what's operating under the hood for you? It's very much like a computer, right? The computer, we don't know what's going on uh, on the base level. We only know the surface and very oftentimes not even those. Well, we have an operating system going on that was formed very early. And one of the ways in which you can bring this programming to the surface is to try doing nothing. My Sufi teacher, my spiritual teacher, used to give us the exercise, go out and do nothing. And we were supposed to go out and do nothing for like, I don't know, an hour. I'm not asking you to do that. I'm asking you to try to do nothing for five minutes and see what shows up. And if nothing shows up, try doing nothing for 10 minutes. Most of us are busy doing something in order to avoid thoughts or the, that, that negative chatter in our, in our heads, like you're lazy or you're all alone and nobody cares about you. So if you stay busy, especially if that's been your training, it makes you feel better. For, for myself, I found that staying busy all the time kept my mother off my back, so that made me feel safe. That's all I have for today. Be brilliant, take a break, 
stay doing nothing and write in your journal and I will share you share more with you about what to do next in one of my next videos. That's it for now.